we can um, we can do a quick look at Cesar. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, great having you here, man. Good to be with you all. Thanks, George yeah. and Brenda for hosting. You're welcome. So Cesar, you've also, you know, I think as you've heard me talk about Marines, I think you've probably heard some good things that you've been doing. You've got your, your job title, you could add keywords. That would be one recommendation. You've got the connections, which is great. Now, I'm curious and maybe put this in the chat. Does anyone think that they can't get to 500 connections? Anyone worried that maybe they can't ask enough people to connect with them to get to 500? Does anyone not have 500? I don't know. We no can check. Typing. No one's typing. <sighs> People probably know how many connections they've had. Well, okay, we got one. We got, okay, someone's close. All right. Danielle, Hi. Anna, getting there. Looks like most people do have 500, so that's really great. Oh, Dana, Dana, sorry, you messaged me mm -hmm. privately. Dana does not have 500. Yet. Okay, okay. Okay, so there are some doesn't. people. Okay, we're seeing some more people come in here with don't have 500. So I bet that you have way more people that you that are in your network than you even realize if you don't have 500. First of all, every single person on this call right now is someone that you could connect with, including me. You're probably all connected with George already, but start connecting. Um, I do recommend when you reach out to someone to connect on LinkedIn, don't just send the invitation without a message. And if you're on your phone, that is very tricky. Because <laughs> um, if you hit connect, it just automatically sends a message. It doesn't give you an option. And you have to actually hit the three I think it's three dots in most phones or the more button or something like that in order to personalize your invitation. So it is tricky, but you can always follow up with a message if you make a mistake. We celebrate mistakes around here, right? <laughs> so there's always a way to take care of that if you send the generic message. And so definitely, you know, connect with everyone who's on this call right now at least if you can see who they are. Connect with, if you're part of the right foundation, connect with everyone you know at the right foundation. If you've had previous jobs, connect with other coworkers, connect with anyone you did, you supervised, anyone who supervised you. If you went to college or any kind of graduate school, connect with, your, with alumni from that institution. And there are easy ways on LinkedIn to find alumni. If you just do a search for your school, you're going to easily get to the function where you can find alumni from your school. And people like to connect with people who went to their school. Totally. And I'm seeing a question, Eric, you're asking if, is it better to just have the 500 or less, but quality connections? What you want you both. I have no doubt, but that everyone on this call can have both quality okay. connections and over 500. You don't want to just connect with people who, you know, and I know it's a stereotype, but I, you know, I know I also do get a lot of calls from people in India and Pakistan who want to connect with me who are not quality connections. And I get some even profiles that are fake from wherever, you know, wherever, um, that are not quality connections. I don't accept every single connection. You know, if they're not gonna connect me with other good people, if it's not gonna make me a second degree connection to quality people, then I won't accept it. But you guys all know way more people than you realize, quality people and people who are connected to quality people. Here, here. So sorry, you were saying that you you have a, a kind of approach that you use. 
Yeah, I wanted to sort of as a testimonial, and I'll be brief in the interest of time because I'm going to have to bounce it at, a, at the bottom of the hour. But to back to Brenda's point, I've been intentional about making these quality connections in my world as a new employee in a new organization. So every time in a, I'm in a meeting with someone and I'm still meeting everyone because I'm a 100% virtual employee, I have my personal PC right next to my laptop from work. And I'll make that connection with that nice message about, hey, good to meet you at that meeting, looking forward to collaborating with you on our next project together. So that's been very, very helpful. Also, even before I attend a meeting. So if I get invited to a meeting with people I don't know, I'm going to my LinkedIn profile and sort of getting a sense of their background so that I can understand at least what perspective they might have coming into the problem solving that we're about to do in a meeting. So a big advocate of LinkedIn to appreciate the feedback, Brenda, because I'll tell you, it's helped me with business. It's helped me with connections at work as a 100% virtual employee and even gotten opportunities that have generated money for me. And I'm not sort of selling anything out there, but just participating in surveys as an example because of a profile. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Sister, thank you for sharing that. Thank you.